This is a good quiz. If you combine this quiz and you're going to get another quiz in a couple of days, that's a really good indication of what you're going to see on the written section of the test. Uh, ooh, who's my favorite student? Not Annie, just Ann. Number one, an object is pulled definitely, I would underline constant speed by a horizontal force. What's the coefficient of friction? They want me to find mu. This is a job for a free body diagram, although they gave me a picture. So what are the forces acting on it? Get the obvious one. I always start there, gravity. I think here, the normal force is the same size as gravity. When is the normal force not the same size as gravity? If I see an extra vertical, I don't see any extra vertical forces on this one. So I think we're going to be okay. I bet you the next test is going to have extra vertical forces. Next quiz. Uh, oh, and friction. Why would that be wrong? Oh, and why would that be wrong? I heard someone say it. Yeah? Yeah. So I should, the constant speed, that means forces are, I'm looking for that starts letter B, Davin. So you know what? I'll eyeball it. Should be about that big. In fact, I might have been able to go to this line without the free body diagram. I might have been able to say, you know what? Friction equals 12. Who's winning? It's a tie. Horizontally, it's a tie. But they want me to find, oh, friction is mu times the normal force. That equals 12. How would I get the normal force by itself? Don't just copy this out. How would I get the normal force by itself? Sorry, how would I get the mu by itself? I'm sorry. How would I get the mu by itself? I'm going to be lazy and do it right here. Although, I don't know the normal force. Oh, but look, 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 look. Mg. It's going to be 12 divided by mg. It's going to be 12 divided by bracket 5 times 9.8. Uh, did you get 0.244? Uh, A. And for some reason, two marks. Well, you know what? It was two marks worth of work for a multiple choice question. So, okay. Number two, a free falling object falling downwards and accelerating downwards experiences a force of air resistance. What's the acceleration? This is a job for a free body diagram. Dina, how do I know? They gave me air resistance. That's one force. And I know the obvious one, mg. If there's more than one force, you'll rarely be wrong to do a free body diagram. What are the forces acting on it? Get the obvious one, gravity. What else? Air resistance. Which way? It depends. Which way is it moving? They had to tell me that. Downwards. Okay, so air resistance is going to point which way? Upwards. Bigger, smaller, or the same size engine? It depends. Oh, they told me we're accelerating downwards, so gravity is winning, so air resistance is smaller. That was a lot of thinking to come up with that diagram. Now I'm good. Who's winning? Lean, who's losing? You're correct? Good. M, G, minus F, air. Winner, what does winner minus loser always equal? And then I'm going to steal Cooper's theorem. Again, I would have no problem giving you the acceleration and also asking you to get F air by itself. Uh, that would be a swappy dance. Uh, it's going to be A equals M, 0.62, G, 9.8, minus 1.4. Don't you need to multiply that by 9.8? No, no, it's in Newtons. They gave me the force. Well, that's convenient. Divided by 0.62. I have no idea what the answer is. Bracket 0.62 times 9.8 minus 1.4. Close off the top. Divided by 0.62. Are you starting to see why I told you at the beginning of this unit I can't come up with every equation for you? You're going to have to derive them on your own. It's winner minus loser equals MA. Uh, is it 7.54? Anybody else? And meters per second squared. Make sure the units are right. If you got that, two out of two. Otherwise, I would give you a half mark if I saw that. I would give you a half mark for dividing by M, saying I know how to get the A by itself. I would give you a half mark for the numbers and a half mark for the answer. A what force? A net force. A what force? A net force. I went straight to, okay, if it says net force, F equals MA. And then I paused and I said, even though this wants me to find F, you know what I'm going to spend most of my time finding? A. I actually drew a little line and I went, okay, A equals question mark. Um, from rest, VI is zero. 
15, VF is 15, D is 85. I said, okay, A equals VF squared minus VI squared all over 2D. By the way, that means yet another way, Hannah, to find force. Technically, another version of Newton's second. Don't write this down. is technically that. I, I've never bothered writing that out that way. I usually just find the acceleration over here, but it would work. Uh, it's going to be 15 squared minus 0 squared all over 2 times 85. It's going to be 15 squared. The minus 0 squared won't make a difference. Divided by 2 times 85. Do I need to square root because of the square? No, no, there's no squared on the A. 1.323. I'm going to write 1.32, but I'm going to use my answer button. My pen's not working well. Meters per second squared. And I'm going to walk that over here. 1.3235, Mr. Duet. 32. And instead of writing the M down, I could just drop it down. It's going to be F equals 1200. So it's going to be... 1,200 times, haha, <laughs> answer button. Did you all get 1,500 and I'll go 1,590. 1588, if you wrote that, that's fine. I'll go 1590 if you got that. Oh, and Newton's, two out of two. Otherwise, I would probably go half mark if I saw that, half mark for the answer, half mark if I saw that, half mark for finding the acceleration. Three marks, okay, initially at rest. They want me to find VF. Well, VI is zero. D is 16. What else do I need to find VF? Time or what? Acceleration. You know what? Acceleration. That's my, my wheelhouse. I'm pretty sure that's going to be forces. So I paused there and I said, okay, I'm going to need to find A. Uh, this is a job for a free body diagram. We have gravity down, normal force up. This 56 coming from off the page, we've typically called F applied. Friction and I think it's speeding up. So, yeah, oh, yeah, because we started at rest, we must be speeding up so friction's smaller. So I'm going to write an equation for that. Who's winning? It's going to be F applied. Who's losing? Friction. What's that going to equal? MA. And then I'm going to apply Cooper's theorem. A is going to be 56 minus mu times the normal force all over M. I don't know the normal force. It's going to be Mg. A is going to be 56 minus 0.24. What's M? 12 times 9.8 all over 12. This might work out nice. 56 minus 0.24 times 12 times 9.8, close bracket, divided by 12. Nope, 2.314 in a bunch of sixes. I'm going to write 2.31, but I'm going to use my answer button. Because now I think I can go, I can go uh, VF squared equals 2AD. What happened to the VI squared? It's zero, and so I didn't bother writing it. Am I done? No, that's via squared. How does one get rid of a squared? So it's going to be the square root of 2 times my answer button times 16. It's going to be 2 times my answer button times 16. That's way too... Oh, square root, square root, square root, square root, Mr. Duke. Uh, did you get 8.61? No, yes. No? Am I wrong? You did more typing for less, less accuracy and increased chance of error? 
Okay. Uh, 8.6, whatever. But 8.6, bare minimum. I'll go 8.61. Oh, units. I just finished doing gravity and black holes with my physics 12s. And one of my students is very bitter because she got 33.5 out of 34. Because on one question, when I asked her to find the orbital speed, she put the speed units as seconds. And I took off a half mark. And she's, oh, why would I put time for speed? Don't do that. Uh, if you got that, three out of three. Otherwise, I would probably go something like this. Uh, half mark if I saw that. Half mark if I saw that. Half mark for that. Half mark for that, half mark for that, and a half mark for the answer. But if you got it, three out of three. Oh, the skier. Skiing is a tricky free body diagram because which way do you push with your poles? Think about it. Backwards. Which way are you accelerating? So what's technically accelerating you forward? It, you're, it's the snow. It is a forces come in pairs deal. But here's what I'm going to say. In terms of my free body diagram, uh, gravity down, normal force, the same side as mg. I think this is 110 newtons, and you could call it an F applied or F pole or whatever you wanted to call it. I'm telling you there's a force going forwards and then friction. Okay, they want me to find the acceleration. Okay. Who's winning? F applied, the 110. I'm just going to go straight to the 110 minus who's losing friction equals MA. Now I can go Cooper's theorem. Sorry? I don't know friction. I got coefficient of friction. I can figure out friction. Sorry? Oh, are we slowing down? I think I'm good right now, because I can go like this. 110, oh, first of all, I'm going to go A equals, if that's okay, Davin, because I like the A equals on the left. 110 minus mu times the normal force divided by M. I don't know the normal force. Oh, but look, 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 look. I don't know the force the same size as a normal force. It's going to be mg. In fact, it's going to be 110 minus mu mg. If I go to numbers now, it's going to be 110 minus mu 0.11 m. Hopefully they told me. 47 times 9.8. You could figure out friction ahead of time. You might notice I like to do everything in one step. Hashtag nerd. Uh, bracket, 110 minus 0 0.11 times 47 times 9.8, close off the top, divided by 47. Did you all get uh, 1.26? See people nodding? And that's an acceleration, so meters per second squared. Uh, how many marks was this worth? Three. Okay, I'd probably go something like this. One mark if I saw that. One mark for that, half mark for the numbers, and half mark for the answer. Ooh, steady speed. This is a job for a free body diagram. Gravity down, normal force up. Here's F applied, and in fact, this is what they're asking me to find. Oh, friction. Why would that be wrong to draw? Yeah. Why would this be wrong to draw? Okay. I will, on your test, ask you to draw one, at least one free body diagram for marks. And what I'll be looking for is arrow lengths, roughly to scale. So roughly to scale. In fact, I could do a full winner minus loser shtick, but since it's steady speed, Cody, I think I can go straight to saying, uh, the mystery force F applied is going to be the same size as friction. Davin, friction is what times what? I don't know the normal force. Oh, but look, 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 look. Mg. F applied is going to be, what's mu? I don't know what's mu with you. 0.32 times 20 times 9.8. 
0.32 times 20 times 9.8. And I get 62.7, 62.7. Newtons, if you got that, three out of three. Otherwise, I would give you one mark for that, one mark for that, half mark for the numbers, half mark for the answers. Can you give yourself a clear score out of 15? If you haven't done the quiz, then you have to work on it on your own. Any lawyering with me, now is the time.